so the options are given from a to h there are variety of enzymes in the options so now we need to choose which one of the following enzyme could lead to all these signs and symptoms okay so some of the signs that uh, that are given in this particular case is is a 10 year old boy and he feels drowsy and out of energy which and especially this happens when he skips his meals it means whenever this boy gets into fasting condition so he feels lack of energy this is something which is indicative of hypoglycemia means his blood group uh, blood glucose levels are not maintained properly here his physical examination revealed nothing much significant his labs revealed high blood lactate level this is the one that is one of the laboratory sign that is shown here is high blood lactate level high levels of alanine and blood ammonia is increased and urea levels are increased and there is a decrease in blood ph so these are some of the laboratory signs that are given here so going with all this so we need to see which enzyme is deficient here so okay so with this signs so i am thinking about hypoglycemia here and uh, patient uh, is having increased lactate alanine ammonia and uh, urea levels and there is a decrease in uh, blood ph and that decrease in blood ph i can correlate it can be because of lactic acidosis because there is a increase in lactate here so going with all that so if you consider option a lactate dehydrogenase so lactate dehydrogenase deficiency or defect can lead to increase yeah basically it doesn't lead to increase in lactate level because conversion of pyruvate into lactate also needs lactate dehydrogenase so that can uh, that cannot be possible here pyruvate kinase enzyme is a glycolytic enzyme so if that is decreased or deficient so there should not be any increase in lactate level now coming to the pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme so pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme is converting pyruvate into acetyl coa so if the pyruvate dehydrogenase is down so pyruvate is accumulated and that can divert pyruvate into lactate formation and that can lead to increase lactate level that's fine there but what about increase in alanine that is seen in this patient what about increase in ammonia and what about increase in urea levels so pyruvate dehydrogenase deficiency is one of the cause for congenital lactic acidosis so but it doesn't lead to hypoglycemia hyperalaninemia hyperammonemia and hyper, uh, uremia cases so in that sense pyruvate dehydrogenase enzyme is not a correct choice here coming with the pyruvate carboxylase pyruvate carboxylase enzyme is a gluconeogenic enzyme so pyruvate carboxylase it converts pyruvate into oxaloacetate if this enzyme is down pyruvate is elevated and this pyruvate can go towards lactate formation and also alanine is converted to pyruvate during gluconeogenesis so deficiency of pyruvate carboxylase can lead to elevation of alanine level so this seems to be a correct choice so far now alanine transaminase if the alanine transaminase enzyme is deficient so that leads to increase in alanine but that doesn't explain increase in lactate increase in ammonia so it can be increase in ammonia but it doesn't lead to increase in lactate and hypoglycemia all these cases so that need not that that cannot be an answer here pfk1 pfk1 is a glycolytic enzyme so deficiency of pfk1 lead to decrease in the utilization of glucose it means it should not lead to hypoglycemic signs and symptoms so uh, definitely it can lead to decrease in atp levels and all that but cannot lead to increase in uh, means decrease in glucose level propionyl coa carboxylase deficiency of propionyl coa carboxylase leads to accumulation of propionate and propionyl coa propionate on these things will be accumulated leading to propionic acidemia and lead, leading to later propionic aciduria and that you are not going to see those things here in this case stem you are not seeing that so that should not be an answer for the question glycerol kinase glycerol kinase it converts glycerol into glycerol 3 phosphate which is more of a anabolic enzyme here so glycerol 3 phosphate can be converted into glycerol uh, dihydroxyacetone phosphate and it can be taken into glucose formation 
so since glycerol is not elevated here so glycerol kinase is not making any sense for this particular question so overall by ruling out other choices so i am squaring in on pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency as the answer for this particular question let's move on to see little more on pyruvate carboxylase enzyme there is a pyruvate carboxylase so one first thing is normal function of pyruvate carboxylase is pyruvate carboxylase enzyme is going to convert pyruvate into oxaloacetate that's the job of pyruvate carboxylase enzyme and also note that this pyruvate carboxylase it needs biotin for its function it is a biotin requiring enzyme now once the oxaloacetate is formed so oxaloacetate will be converted to aspartate by aspartate transaminase enzyme reaction oxaloacetate can be taken into tca cycle and oxaloacetate can be diverted into gluconeogenesis now if there is a deficiency of pyruvate pyruvate carboxylase enzyme so if the pyruvate carboxylase enzyme is down it means there is a elevation of pyruvate and decrease in oxaloacetate if the oxaloacetate is decreased it means there will be decrease in aspartate decrease in tca cycle and decrease in gluconeogenesis decrease in gluconeogenesis during fasting condition so it can lead to hypoglycemia hypoglycemia that is one of the sign that you have seen in the previous means in the previous slide there was signs of hypoglycemia now decrease in aspartate special here because oxaloacetate is decreased according accordingly aspartate is decreased if there is a decrease in aspartate especially in the central nervous system so aspartate is not transported across the blood brain barrier efficiently so it means in the blood central so in the brain central nervous system it is dependent on pyruvate carboxylase for oxaloacetate so that it can make aspartate so and there is a deficiency of pyruvate carboxylase aspartate is decreased in the central nervous system as you all know aspartate is a excitatory neurotransmitter so there will be changes in the neurotransmission and that is one of the possible ex um, explanation why there is mental retardation seen in pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency in pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency so we do see mental retardation that is one of the sign seen in pyruvate carboxylase deficiency so we have seen hypoglycemia mental retardation as a sign of pyruvate carboxylase deficiency tca cycle decrease means that will lead to decrease in atp levels when there is a decrease in atp levels so patient feels lack of energy there now let's see what happens if there is increase in pyruvate and because of the decrease in uh, pyruvate carboxylase increased pyruvates will be diverted into lactate formation so there will be increase in lactate and lactate builds up leading to lactic acidosis that's one of the signs seen in pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency now the increased pyruvates can be diverted into transamination reaction forming alanin so there is increase in alanin means alanin during fasting condition uh, so it will be diverted into gluconeogenesis process to make glucose now since pyruvate carboxylase enzyme is down pyruvate is elevated now the flux of reaction will be to make alanins so there is increase in alanin leading to hyperalaninemia in pyruvate carboxylase deficiency some of this alanin so which is undergoing transamination so by alanin transaminase enzyme here so that can and also some of the alanin will undergo breakdown process so leading to hyperammonemia so excess transamination reaction leading to hyperammonemia and uh, urine uh, uh, urea formation so can lead to uremia and also it, it excess levels of uh, excess breakdown of alanin so going into hyperammonemia formation and all that can also decrease energy levels in the skeletal muscle and that can give rise to hypotonia so hypotonia is one of the sign seen in pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency hypotonia there so these are some of the signs that are seen with pyruvate carboxylase deficiency so i am going to recap all these things so when there is a decrease in pyruvate carboxylase so pyruvate is elevated oxaloacetate is decreased because of the decrease in oxaloacetate so there will be decrease in aspartate 
because there is a decrease in aspartate which is one of the exerted neurotransmitter so that can lead to mental retardation decrease in tca cycle so lead to decrease in overall atp levels and decrease in oxalocetate it means decrease in gluconeogenesis it means lactate and pyruvates are not taken into glucose formation so that leads to hypoglycemia here so elevated pyruvate here will be going towards lactate formation so leading to lactic acidosis and that contributes to metabolic acidosis elevated pyruvate is going into alanine formation leading to hyperalaninemia and that can contribute to hyperammonemia urea and hypotonia in skeletal muscle so this so this is all about uh, today's case here so 10 year old boy brought to the physician by concerned uh, parents and lack of energy that is shown lactate alanine ammonia increased urea increased and decrease in blood uh, ph so all that will answer towards pyruvate carboxylase enzyme deficiency that's all for today's case thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel for more regular updates if you like the video so give thumbs up so see you, see you all soon